Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, oh, actually, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Careful, careful. Okay, so today, uh, we're... Get your finger out of the camera. <laughs> okay, so today, we are going to hopefully capture some black widows. Uh, now, there's a lot of black widows up at this spot. We're hoping we can flip some under some rocks and capture one on video. Uh, because although we've already filmed our Black Widow bite video, I never actually filmed the capture. So we'd figure, why not? Slap one on there. So hopefully we find one and hopefully we get some good footage. Oh. Wow. Look at that, guys. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, some termites and some ants. Cool. Come check this out. Not quite a black widow, but look at this little brown recluse. See it in there? Good looking spider. Very nice. Now, if you're interested in learning more about brown recluses, brown, brown recluse, um, I filmed a bite video in which I talk about a lot of the misinformation and um, misinterpretation of brown recluses and their behavior and their bites. Um, so if that's something you guys are interested in, hop over to our sting and bite playlist and watch me endure the bite of a brown recluse. But we're gonna let this one hop back under here. We're gonna keep looking for brown, I mean black widows, not brown widows, because that's what we're here to look for. There we go. Getting my work out here for nothing. They're hardly working. Okay, guys, take a look at the size of this pair of brown recluse. Look at that massive female. She looks quite gravid. That means she's full of eggs. And this is the much smaller male. So again, this is an example of sexual dimorphism because the female needs a large size to store all the eggs, whereas the male is really just around for reproduction. So he doesn't need quite as much size, but look at that, let me move some of the webs out of the way. Look at that spider. I mean, look in comparison to the size of my hand. Easy, oh, no, 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 it's okay, you can stay, oh, you can stay where you were. That is a big spider, big brown recluse. Wow, I mean, that's as big as some of the black widows <laughs> we're looking for out here, that's impressive. Wow. Okay, well, we'll let them get back to it. You recording? Yeah. All right, folks. We've just spotted a juvenile. Scolopendra heroes, Castinaceps, which is the Texas red-headed centipede. Hopefully I can catch him without him getting away. Let's see here. Yep, there you go. Oh, oh, there you go. Take a look at that. I think I just broke my toe by throwing this giant rock on top of it. Good looking centipede, much smaller than the one we uh, just filmed with last week. That video is already up on the channel. It's still really, really cool to see that there's a good breeding population of these guys out here. This guy is probably only a few months old. He's definitely a few molts in. He's already got those adult colors, but a very, very good looking centipede. Ow, totally just really hurt my foot. <laughs> hey, look, it's where I landed right on my foot, right on it. Okay, I'm gonna try and move this around. Remember kids, lift with your back. 
not your knees. Just kidding, don't do that. You'll really hurt your back. And we'll let him go right back under here because he deserves to be free and in the wild. There he goes. My foot. All right. All right. See that? Yeah. It's all webbed up in here. Okay, there's a very good chance that there's a black widow somewhere in these rocks and these leaves. I'm gonna poke around and hopefully we can unearth her. Let's see. Now what black widows will do is they'll have kind of a run that goes deep into a rock or a cluster of grass where they can run and feel safe. They can hide from a predator. So let's see, this, this looks to me like feeding web. Stretches all the way down here, so we can check underneath this rock. I don't see that she's in here. Oh, I saw a little flash of red, but I guess not. Check under this rock. No. So I'm gonna have to check under this big rock. Just super deep in there. I mean, you see all of this web. Oh. Her up here. Obviously, I don't want to pinch her because then she will bite me. Yeah, I mean, you can see their, their webs are super, super strong. So you can feel that characteristic. Oh, oh, we might be getting closer. Leaves. See, there's a June bug that's caught. There's a molt. Yeah. Exactly, right here. Black Widow Malt. So my guess tells me she's in there. Hopefully I can get that moved to the point where I can get her. What do you guys think? Think I can do that? Yeah, she's probably in there. This is a big rock. Oh, sweet. That came right up. Yes, there she is. See her, see her, see her. Oh. All right. Fantastic. She's right there. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Come here, girl. Oh, you're okay. Yeah. Nice. Let's try and put this rock back in a way that she can revisit her web when we're finished with her. Check this out. This is the Black Widow. See that hourglass? That is that iconic marking that all North American widows possess. This is a good looking adult female. Look at those dorsal spots as well in the sun. Nice red spotted, beautiful. Southern Black Widow. Look at that. Now, Black Widows, again, are neurotoxic spiders. Um, a lot of people think they're super, 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 super dangerous. Um, but if you want to learn more about their bites, hop over to my Black Widow bite video. We actually test a Black Widow bite and its effects on the human nervous system and body, which uh, was not that much fun. Uh, but these are one of my absolute favorite species of spider uh, that we have here in North America. And they are beautiful. And I'm actually going to see if she will, would like to come out. She's a little frazzled. Oh, look at that. Beautiful spider. Can you see that? She is gorgeous. See that thread she's coming off of it is a thick strand of spider silk. One of the strongest silks out there is from, oh, and there she goes. And look at this. See how she's crumpled into a ball? That is, a, uh, is another defense mechanism. They will cannonball to the ground, all balled up. 
and hope that I will leave her alone so she can scurry under another rock. Oh, and be done with me. Pick up this leaf. Oh, you're okay, girl. Oh, cup her back up. There we go. Now I'm covered in spider silk. All right, if you're too crazy to behave, I'm gonna keep you in the bottle. Really, really cool species. Just wanted to catch one for you guys and show you kind of what their habitat looks like. Again, they're gonna be under really anything. Uh, they'll kind of find their way under rocks, build some tight, strong webbing, and then they will wait for prey items to come to them. They don't need to eat very often, so when stuff does come in and they get a meal, they can go for weeks, if not months, without feeding. Really, really cool. Really beautiful spider. We're going to throw her back under this rock and then we'll be on our way. Good-looking spider there. Oh, and there she goes. See how she's back in her own web? She's going to figure out where to go from there. All right. Cool stuff, guys. Glad we could find one. And now we're going to be on our way, hopefully, to film more animals. Peace.